Today, we are going to be taking you through the return of serve and this is Dennis. I'm the head pro and the owner of the Tennis Academy in Vaughan, Canada. We're getting matches that are going five sets because players are so good at holding their serve. The serves are getting faster, players are fitter and stronger. And if you don't have a good base for your return of serve, it's very hard to actually compete in matches. We're gonna take you through it and also show you a drill that you can do to practice. Okay, yeah, let's uh, jump on it. Well, uh, return of serve is, uh, is very important these days. Uh, I believe it's more important than the serve itself. Uh, we have a lot of uh, big servers, but we don't really have a lot of good returners. And the reason why, because coaches at the academies, they don't spend a lot of time on returns. All they do, they just focus on the first serve. And unfortunately, kids don't get enough information and enough feedback on their return. There are a few ways of uh, returning. We can stand so far back as uh, Daniel uh, Medvedev does. He moves back and from there he moves in and then he plays the ball very deep. He has enough time to set up and uh, uh, play it very well from the back of the court. Some players uh, take the ball early on the rise, so they just using half swing from here and play being inside of the court. So there are two completely different styles of playing and it all depends on the player's ability to hit the ball. So if, if we're talking about a strong player with very good reaction, it's, uh, it's very good to take time away and just make some loading, make half stroke and from here produce tremendous amount of uh, power and return the ball either down the middle, cross or down the line. If, if we're talking about the player who has not so much strength, but still want to make a very full swing, so it's better to return it from the back. But it's, it's important that you have to start moving forward to, to make more body weight transfer and return the ball. Today we're going to talk about the, the one with more compact swing. And uh, basically you're going to start from uh, behind the baseline and you can make a few steps forward, then I make a split step. But you can start from here and you can start moving forward, make a split step. It's important that you start moving forward. So second thing, once you've done the split step, you, you wanna load your outer foot. So you step out and you're not stepping out among the baseline, you're stepping out diagonally. So you're stepping out, you're loading your right you're holding the racket halfway, so basically it doesn't have to pass your big toe right here. It's already half closed. It's a very simple thing. So you load, okay, make sure the racket head stays where your toes is on the side and it's half closed. So basically already in this position, you just take it to the side. It's very simple. You load your leg, you should really feel your quads, your hamstring, your glute, you're loading, you're pushing the ground and from here, you're just using your arm to accelerate. Okay, same thing for your backhand side. So you make a split step, you step out diagonally, you load your leg, you hold it half closed, and then you just accelerate. Okay, uh, there's a few other ways you can do this. You load, and if you wanna go down the line, you just go like this. As long as you transfer your weight, from left foot to right foot, right? That is important. So from here, if you receive a white ball, you make a return and you recover back to where you're supposed to. Same thing applies to your backhand side. So you start moving forward, you're doing split step, you're stepping out diagonally. That's why I have this arrow right here. So it's, it's very easy to understand. Same idea, racket half closed, okay, the, the head of the racket doesn't pass your big toe and then you just load and you hit. So it requires a lot of movement forward and a lot of strength in your lower body, okay, so you really have to practice it. And uh, actually sometimes you might go from here to here, from here to here, it depends on the ball incoming ball 
but the idea is that you have to make the weight transfer and hit the ball deep. Take time away from the opponent and uh, have enough time for yourself to set up. And it all depends on your depth. If you return very well, then you can move in, approach, or you just recover back and you start building the point from, from the middle of the court. Okay? So the common mistake people make, they stay just behind the baseline and uh, once they receive the ball, they make a full swing and they try to accelerate and usually ball lands long or because the swing is too long, the ball comes fast if we're talking about first serve and they end up on the back foot and they place the ball in the net. So it's important to have a very compact swing on the side. So it's like you're catching, catching the ball with your hand and then, then you're throwing it back. So that's the same principle if you want to return here on, and don't give up your court position. So short return. I'm a high performance coach and it happened that I attend a lot of tournaments. I watch juniors like U12, U14 and boys and girls and most of them, they just stand here. It looks like they glued to this position and they don't move from here and they just take a huge, uh, make a huge take back and they're trying to, to be aggressive here. Well, so they can move back here and start moving forward. They can stay here and return. It all depends on the serve. It could be first serve, second serve, but most of the players I watch at national selections, Ontario championships, national championships, all of them stay here. Uh, first serve and second serve returns and there's no movement, there's no actions happening here. So it tells me that most of the players don't spend enough time working on, uh, on the returns of serve. In our academy, we spend about 40-50% of time working on it. We're doing a lot of drills and we specify that and uh, we really do do work on those little little things to, to make a huge improvement in a big tournament. So we're gonna do a typical drill, uh, which we do in, uh, in our academy. Okay, so basically it's gonna, we're gonna work on a short take back and uh, moving in on, on the return. So Vincent's gonna start, Vincent make a few steps back, more, more, yes. So I want you to start moving, then do split step, then you lower your right foot, and make sure you have a short take back and from here you accelerate, okay? Uh, go for down the middle returns for now, okay? Ready, go. Okay, go. So as you can see, Vincent is not moving, so that's a typical mistake. So what we wanna do, we wanna start moving and making diagonal step and make a bigger step forward, okay? And try to sit low, so no jumping up. Yes, just move forward. Okay, good. Okay, split, load, hit. Split, load, hit. Okay. Okay, uh, good. Uh, start from the blue line. Yeah, just move back, more, more. Yes, perfect. And when I make a take back, you start walking like this and being ready to make a split step, okay? Okay, ready, go. Load, that's better. Okay, it's still too long, so make sure it's compact. Make sure it doesn't pass your big toe. Go, go. Okay, start moving. Split, load, hit. Okay, you have to be so inside, you have to finish where the second blue line is, right? So the first one in, and that's the second one. That's where you, you have to finish. So basically, you just, you start from here. You move, you split, you load. You see where I'm loading? right here and then from here pump see I'm finishing here so it has to be very compact yours is so far back so make sure it's very compact all motions happening in front all contact ready go go much better move go repeat okay make sure you do a split step split go Yes, that was the best so far. Ready, wide split step, go. 
Very good. Okay, another one. Move forward. Much better. Okay, again, go. Okay, uh, that was a wide serve, but you moved forward. So on the wide serve, you have to move wide. Okay, try again. So step wide and move wide. Okay, so be in the closed stance. Go. Move that way. Okay, again, go. Yes, beautiful. Go. Go. Very good. And one more. Good. So imagine spending 40 minutes of your time working on your return. I guarantee you're going to get some better results than you have right now. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that's where everybody's missing. So uh, with a simple drill like this, you work on weight transfer, you work on contact in front. And of course you can do it on your backhand side and you can do it on the ad side after. Okay. So when I feed, I can, I can do more variations with, with this feed. So we can make a higher bounce or we can make a lower bounce. So lower bounce, it will remind us a slice. Okay. I can feed to the body. So that would, would be a first serve, uh, like from somebody who's, who's a tall and a big server. Okay. And, uh, of course we can, we can go to, to the ad side, same idea. So you can practice out wide and make, make the player just uh, get to that ball and try to return it. So, but you can, you can do some fast feeding like this. So make them set up faster, right? So they can move or you can make second serve. So let the player move forward and attack, be more aggressive. So there's a lot of things you can uh, achieve with that kind of feed. And of course, from here, you can move back and just start doing normal serve and see if the player improved. If you like what you learned here, I recommend taking the next step and going into my online course because it takes these concepts and builds on them and shows you a complete system for enjoying tennis for the rest of your life. You can get started by clicking the link down in the description and you can sign up on my website.